Hi guys, welcome to a godly home. We are going to make some homemade sausage this morning. Now I have done this out of ground pork, ground chicken, ground turkey. It's all good. It doesn't matter. You're probably wondering why we would want to make our own ground sausage. Well, for one, we can control how greasy it is. Uh, two, sometimes you can get these meats cheaper per pound than you can sausage, at least at my store. And I grow my own sage, so it's a great way for me to use some of that homegrown sage. I have just one pound, whoops, I have just one pound of all natural ground pork. And I am going to open that up and pop it into the bowl. All right, so to that, I am going to add a tablespoon of olive oil just to give it a little bit of oil. Okay, and I'm going to add two tablespoons of water just to give it a little bit of liquid to help uh, get the spices activated. Okay, and then I've got three leaves of my homegrown dried sage here, and I'm going to grind that up between my fingers but you could just put in a teaspoon of dry ground sage if you don't have this. Okay, and then we need a half a teaspoon of marjoram. I don't know if I said that correctly or not. And then a half a teaspoon of thyme. And I crush the thyme between my fingers also. That time can be so coarse. Okay, and then we are going to add a teaspoon of salt. And we are going to add an eighth of a teaspoon of pepper. Now you can mix this up any way that you like, but the best way to mix this up is just with your hands and then we're just going to cover this with some plastic wrap and leave that in the refrigerator for 24 hours before we cook it and I just cook it all up at once and we use from it for the week but you could cook it and freeze it or whatever you want to do but it does take 24 hours to really get that flavor in there. Okay, guys, thanks for watching, and don't forget to like and subscribe for more homemade recipes like this. Bye!